times it by two. Basically, it's four as lava, and we're learning about volcanoes and a lot of stuff for the M step, so we know how to do it. And like for the past couple months, we've been learning how to do it, and it's super fun. Watch the lava. Mrs. Custy's room is math, and then this Mrs. Glupker's room is reading, and it's super fun. A team member may help you. The third graders and fourth graders at Sandy View are working in pairs, and they are doing a test prep, which they're not aware of, in math and ELA skills in order to help them get prepared and have fun for the M step, which starts here next week. We got burned. As I touch the lava, then you get this, you got burned. Then you have to get this piece of paper, and then you put multiplication and all that, and then you have to figure it out, and then you have to sit there for two minutes after you finish. They are using a classroom transformation, is what we call it. So we call it the floor is lava, and the goal is to be able to go to different obstacles, answer different review questions in third and fourth grade math and ELA skills without getting burned, as we say. So our floors are covered in lava, the kids have different obstacles to answer. They're using obstacles around the classroom as well, like desks and chairs and stepping stones and anything they can find to help them get around the classroom in order to answer the questions and to be the team that wins. Grayson and Hunter successfully completed how many? Six, six out of ten. ten. The fraction would be? Six, six, six ten. ten. Well, number one, we hope they're having fun. And after that, we know that we have given them third grade and fourth grade end of year type questions that they should be able to answer at this point in time in terms of math skills and ELA in terms of comprehension of literature. And so by pairing a third grader with a fourth grader in every team, we hope that those fourth graders will be able to help our third graders with skills they might not yet be strong on. And we're even seeing today some of the third graders who have some really new current skills in math in third grade are even helping their fourth grade partners who have forgotten some things that were fresh in third grade.